Number 10. The Snack Time Cabbage Patch Dolls Natal's toy was an interactive doll that would chew and swallow plastic snacks when you fed them to the doll. The doll featured a motorised mouth mechanism, but it didn't have an on or off switch, so children's fingers and hair would get trapped with the toy chomping away indefinitely. Yeah, the product was consequently discontinued. Number 9. Easy Bake Ovens Easy Bake Ovens were one of the more popular toys for children, uh, but the majority of them posed a real danger due to the heating. It featured real heating, not just coloured lights. In 2006, the creator Hasbro recalled one million of these plastic models upon discovery of the oven being able to trap and burn a child's fingers. That's not, that's not a toy, that's not fun. The ovens could reach temperatures of up to 200 degrees Celsius, with nearly 250 incidents reported. That figure includes 16 cases of second or third degree burns, while a five-year-old girl underwent a partial finger amputation. That's not fun or a toy at all. No, no, no. Number 8. The Hannah Montana Pop Star Card Game Now, it's recommended as a general rule of thumb that children's toys don't contain lead. You know, what with it being the second most deadly household toxin after arsenic, which to be honest, people don't keep that much arsenic in their house anymore these days, either. Lab tests revealed that the Hannah Montana Pop Star card game, bit of a mouthful, contained lead at 75 times the approved level, which was like 3,000 parts per million. During the year in which this card game was released, 6 million toys were recalled due to excessive lead levels, but amazingly, Hannah Montana wasn't one of them, as the lead was found in the vinyl, not in the paint. Therefore, it wasn't covered by the regulations. Number 7. The BB Gun Air rifles, or BB guns, were certainly popular during the mid-20th century. Daisy Outdoor Products, a company that created the Red Rider gun, was sued in 1999 after a teenager became severely brain damaged by a pellet fired at close range. They settled with his family for $18 million in a case that received worldwide attention. The teenager later died due to his injury, but air rifles are still very popular, but more so now for the adult market. Number 6. Lawn Darts Designed to be thrown and to pierce lawns in a game that's kind of similar to horseshoes, which you may have heard of, uh, children found other ways quite quickly to make use of these darts, if you can imagine such a thing. Yeah, it turns out you didn't have to throw them at lawns, and the metal tip of these darts couldn't physically stab someone, but they could damage someone's skull. Over 6,000 people have been hospitalised with injuries from lawn darts, predominantly kids, but with many becoming disabled for life. The manufacturer escaped a previous ban by putting a Game for Adults Only warning on their packaging, but they were still sold in kids' toy stores too. It was finally banned after the toy killed three children and put an 11 year old girl into a coma. Frankly, you shouldn't need something that bad to happen before you realise that these things are potentially a bit dangerous for kids. Number 5. Creepy Crawlers Yet yeah, another toy by Mattel, Creepy Crawlers was introduced as a more boys-focused alternative to the Easy Bake Oven. Aha, yes, you can probably see what the problem here is going to be. But as opposed to be making sort of treats and things, the oven allowed kids to make plastic goop creatures like worms and insects by pouring liquid into moulds, heating it and letting it gel. The product had an actual hot plate that produced toxic burning hot liquid plastic. And I can still clearly remember that I really wanted one of these as a kid, so it's probably for the best that I didn't get one. Number 4. Inflatable Baby Boats Aqua Leisure's inflatable baby boats were meant as a product that allowed babies or toddlers to float safely in a pool. However, the boat's leg straps were subject to tearing, causing an infant to slip through. In 2009, 4 million of the boats were recalled after more than 30 infants nearly drowned. The company had been aware of the problem for more than 6 years but failed to do anything about it, and ultimately because of that they were fined $650,000 by the authorities. Number 3. Sky Rangers Park Flyer Airplanes 
A radio-controlled airplane would naturally be dangerous if it hit someone, but that wasn't the case with the Sky Ranger's Park Flyer airplanes. The planes actually exploded! Sure! Oh god! Uh, almost 50 injuries were reported, 45 of which were exploding airplanes with children suffering from eye injuries, hearing loss and minor burns. Of course, it was later recalled because you don't want to give kids airplane toys that physically explode. Ah! Number 2. The CSI Fingerprint Examination Kit Cashing in on the popular CBS crime show, the CSI Fingerprint Examination Kit let kids put on latex gloves and collect evidence by dusting for fingerprints. Yeah, looking for actual murderers. That's a bit young. Anyway, um, the powder used for this contained up to 7% of tremolite, which is uh, one of the most dangerous forms of asbestos, which has been proven to be capable of killing people via lung cancer. Um, yeah, so asbestos for kids. How did that happen? Number 1. Aquadots Sold in 2007, Aquadots was a creative craft kit that allowed kids to create multi-dimensional designs using small coloured beads. They would fuse when water was applied to form these sort of solid shapes. Children were getting sick though by swallowing the pebbles, with two cases of children falling into sadly non-responsive comas. It was later discovered that these little aquadots contained a toxic substance known as the drug GHB, one which is generally known as a date rape drug. Major recalls led to 4.2 million units of the toy being recalled in America alone. Yeah. Don't give kids drugs or asbestos or exploding planes. It's not hard. Thanks everyone for watching, hope you enjoyed the video. For more top 10 lists, be sure to subscribe by clicking on the button that you can see now.